it's important to golfers to know which is your dominant eye. Uh, first, I'm going to tell you how you can figure that out. Stand in front of something, it, a landmark or something. It can be a tree in the distance, or I've got the camera in front of me, a clock on the far wall, something. Now take your hands and put them up in front of you like this. So you're looking at the item through that little triangle. Now close one eye and then close the other. Say so close one eye and then close the other. Now if you notice through that little triangle, when you close one eye, everything stays put. When you close another one or the other one, odds are that the item jumped out of the frame. You can't see it anymore. The eye where you could still see it is your dominant eye. Now for me, I'm right-handed and my dominant eye is my right eye. That's true for almost everybody. Your dominant eye is gonna be the same as your hand. If you're right-handed, your right eye will be your dominant eye. If you're left-handed, your left eye will be your dominant eye. Now, how could this be important for golfers? Well, let me use a baseball example, for example. I told you most people, their hand goes with their eye, right-handed, right dominant eye. Uh, for most baseball players, they're cross-dominant, meaning they're right-handed, but their left eye is dominant, or they're left-handed, and their right eye is dominant. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you're a right-handed batter in baseball, well, that means you stand with your dominant, your left eye is the closest one to the pitcher. So if you're right-handed and you're cross-eye dominant, that means you've got your dominant eye to the pitcher. That gives you just a smidgen extra uh, advantage. I've seen those numbers that say as much as 80% of baseball players are cross-eye dominant. And what about the other 20%? Uh, they're pitchers, and we all know how pitchers bat. So being cross-eyed dominant or having your dominant eye close to the pitcher is an advantage in baseball. But how could that be an advantage in golf? Well, think about as you sit up and swing backwards. So I'm right-handed. My dominant eye is my right eye. But as I swing backwards, my head is going to turn a little bit. So now I'm looking at the golf ball with my lead eye primarily, which is my weak eye. If I wanted to have a little advantage, I could switch over. If I switched left to playing left-handed, then as I went on my back swing and my head turned, I'd be looking at the ball with my dominant eye. You have better sight out of your dominant eye than you do out of your non-dominant eye. That would give me just a smidge more advantage. Now, am I telling everybody to turn backwards to take advantage of this, your dominant or non-dominant eye? No, not if you got a lot of invested in your swing, but it's something to think about. Uh, it could give you a little bit of an advantage switching sides and starting to play left-handed so you could use your dominant eye to keep your eye or look at the ball in the backswing. Mm -hmm.